Alright, what's going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. Thank you for all the support on my videos lately, guys. You guys have been awesome. Smashing it. Uh, yeah, in this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look on how to get the Sturm Exotic Hand Cannon and the Drang Legendary Sidearm. So, uh, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. And before I begin, I just want to mention that there's 10 hours left on the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition giveaway. If you haven't entered already, make sure to enter. There's a link at the top of the video description. All you have to do to enter is like the video, comment on the video, and go enter through that link in the video description. It takes two seconds. Go do that and then come right back. There's 10 hours left, so make sure you enter. And yeah, so uh, let's begin on this exotic quest line. So there's a few things you need to do before you actually uh, get this weapon. You need to make sure you're level 20 and have completed the story mission. Why? Because you need to do a quest and quests are only unlocked when you complete the story and are level 20. So let's jump in. Your mission begins on Nessus. You need to do this mission here called Exodus Black. Um, this mission essentially is you're going uh, after, I think it's one of like Failsafe's team or something. And you basically meet this Gorgon, they're friendly, and you have to basically defend yourself. It's a Harpy, my bad, it's not a Gorgon. And you basically have to go down into this cave, uh, follow this Harpy around, and essentially, once you've like uh, gained their trust, I guess, she'll uh, give you some sick rewards. I mean, the quest itself is pretty easy. She just tells you basically to defend against the uh, Vex and stuff like that, so... If you can just grab yourself a buddy, you can uh, plow through it really, really quick. The one thing I would uh, mention is uh, make sure you uh, do that jumping puzzle correct because I uh, did have some problems. But once you finish, you'll uh, see a body on the floor. This is uh, one of their team. And there, that's it. You get the drag. That's the start of the uh, exotic quest. Now, you also get a piece of paper that tells you to talk to the Cryptarch. So, guess what you got to do? You got to go talk to the Cryptarch. But, yeah, look at this uh, legendary freaking sidearm. It looks sweet. Reminds me of the uh, Golden Eye pistol. It's called Drang. And essentially, when you get kills with it, it will fill up the exotic weapon. So that's pretty cool. So, head back to the tower, uh, talk to the Cryptarch, and he'll give you another step of the quest. Which, essentially, you need to, uh, yeah. This is pretty difficult. So, you need to decrypt uh, five legendary engrams. And you need to decrypt one exotic engram. And you need to defeat Fallen on Nessus using the Drang Sidon. So... Uh, if you're watching this and you haven't completed the story and you want an exotic, I recommend you save that exotic when you finish the story because Shax will give you one and you use that for the quest. So so once you've done all that, you'll get a thing and uh, you basically have to go back to the Cryptarch and he'll give you another step. Unfortunately, I lost the footage for this. So uh, it's basically just another piece of paper that tells you to defeat Fallen with Drang without reloading 10 times. So essentially get 10 double kills without reloading. And then you need to defeat powerful enemies, uh, powerful fallen enemies. So uh, go to Nessus, do some public events, hope they spawn, and then you need to get the finishing blow on these enemies. Um, a lot of people are confused what do powerful enemies mean. It's either named red bar enemies or it's yellow bar enemies. You know when it's a powerful enemy if their bar is split up into segments or if they have a unique name, not just like drag. Or Vandal. But yeah, once you've done that, head back to Tyra Khan. She'll give you another piece of paper, which you basically need to do a special strike and kill a servitor called Kendrick Seven. What a name. I thought that was hilarious. But yeah, it's called Relics of the Golden Age and it essentially is a modified strike of an existing strike. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, at the start, it's a little checkpoint thing. You just jump on your sparrow or jump on a pike. And you basically have to follow these light pillars uh, into the actual crash site. Um, there's no point staying and killing all these Vex. It's just a waste of time. So just checkpoint it. Go through. Uh, once you get to the Fallen Walker part, this is where uh, Kendricks will actually spawn. He spawns inside after you kill uh, the Fallen Walker. So if you've got a good sniper, take out the Fallen Walker. You don't need to kill the uh, Vex uh, big dude. But yeah, go inside after you've killed uh, the Fallen Walker, and he will be up there just chilling on the balcony. Um, use a super, blap him up, and yeah, the quest will be complete when you kill him. So, here's something you can do. You can either back out and just lose all the strike rewards, or you can keep going like my team did. I recommend you honestly just keep going because 
I got an exotic from killing the boss. Like, it may be worth your time, honestly, to just stay and kill the boss. Uh, we were actually two manning it, so we were struggling a bit. But we did uh, plow through it, and I got myself an exotic and a bunch of Vanguard tokens to hand in to Zavala. But yeah, that's essentially the quest line complete. Head back to Tyrakhan, grab your exotic engram, which will be the Sturm, and yeah. The Sturm Exotic Hand Cannon. Now I'm going to jump you to future me, uh, who is actually doing some uh, gameplay with this. So uh, transition to that. Okay guys, what is up? We're going to be taking a look at some gameplay of the Sturm and the Drang Exotic Hand Cannon and Legendary Sidearm. So yeah, I don't actually have it equipped right now, so I'm probably going to do that. It would be a good idea. Um, here we go. So I wanted to go in here real quick, just so I can show you guys the... Uh, perks on the weapon and hopefully these uh, fallen won't follow me that would be fantastic thank you so we have the Sturm exotic hand cannon I actually got it at 278 recommended if you do this quest make sure you do it when you're like the highest light possible I guess like do it when you're 260 don't do it when you're 240 like I did so the exotic pick is called accomplice kills with this weapon fill the magazine of equipped energy weapons from the zooms and this also works with any energy weapon so any kills you get with this gun will fill up your power weapon like it's i think that's really freaking awesome if it's like a linear rifle or like a anything that's freaking you need to reload and it takes a while so we've got extended barrel Increased range, decreased handling speed, we've got extended mag. This weapon has increased uh, magazine size, but reloads much slower. Greatly increased magazine size, greatly decreased reload speed. We've got Storm and Stress. This is the, uh, this is a really good pick. Kills with energy weapons grant bonus precision damage until the next reload. And this precision damage is huge, because look at the impact on this hand cannon. This is massive. And we've also got combat grip. Don't actually have any ornaments yet, unfortunately. Um, don't think you can change it because it's actually a kinetic weapon. So yeah, got the Sturm and the Drang. Let's go uh, look at the Drang real quick, shall we? Reminds me of the uh, Golden Eye pistol. I don't know what you guys think about that. But we've got adaptive frame, a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. We've got small bore, extended mag, and together forever. Oh, kills with this weapon fills Sturm's magazine. So any kills I get with this weapon will fill up this weapon. So essentially, if you use this correctly, you don't ever have to reload. So let's try it out. So we're just gonna, I'm just spraying randomly so I can empty the clip pretty much. Just so I can show you the perk. All right, so we're empty and I'm in. Switch to our sidearm, get a kill, reload. As you can see, it reloaded the Sturm. So we get a kill with that. It reloads the Drang. Tell me that's not freaking MLG guys. Holy freaking Jesus, that's awesome. You run out of ammo, you just switch weapons. They reload themselves. It's pretty much the cocoon pick all over again. That was like my favorite pick in Destiny. It was so sad when they retired it. But yeah, tell me what you guys think of this. I think that's freaking awesome. The fact that you probably don't ever have to reload. Here we go, we're empty. I didn't miss on purpose. I did it. I lied. Okay, so you get a kill, and it reloads. Tell me that's not amazing. I really want to know what you guys think of this in the comment section. It's the ultimate duo weapons. Notice Bungie is starting to do this a lot. They did it with the Mida. If you guys want to know how to get the Mida, I've also done a video on that. I'll leave that in the video description. Or if you're on mobile, it'll probably be on the cards on the side. So just click that little uh, eye icon in the top right and you can uh, go see the uh, how to get the Mida. But that's pretty much as much gameplay as I think I can show you of this weapon. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool in PvP as well if you're able to get some sick shots off. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe if you are new. Um, I've got a huge announcement next video regarding some uh, exclusive Destiny 2 emblems. I have a bunch of them to give away. So if you uh, want to turn notifications on, I recommend you do so because it may be worth your time. Because you might get yourself some exclusive Destiny 2 emblems. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like and I'll see you in my next video. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.